Hello, welcome to Outside by Side. I'm Tanya. And I'm David. Do you have problems with your tailgate hitting your tongue jack on your travel trailer? If so, we're gonna show you how to fix that. Her problem is that uh, we have a uh, pickup truck and uh, when we try to open our, our tailgate it hits the tongue jack and this is uh, very frustrating to me because if I need to load or unload the truck or access the bed uh, to get things in or out while we have the trailer hooked up I have to hold the tailgate and try to pull stuff out and it's very frustrating so um, we have a weight distribution hitch which has even moved it back even further, uh, but we still, we can't open our tailgate. So what we want to do is try to move the tongue jack back. We're going to have to take the propane tank off and move it back uh, so that the tailgate will clear the tongue jack. What we want to show you today is what we purchased to do this, and it's called the jack back. And it's basically just a, a piece that's been prepared for us and you can purchase it on American Car Craft. We're going to put their website below uh, in the description box so you can purchase it yourself. We're going to show you what we do like about it and what we don't like about it. Basically the way this works is this plate bolts on your trailer and your tongue jack gets moved back uh, further back from the ball to give you more clearance for your tailgate. In order for us to do this, uh, we're gonna have to make probably several modifications to our trailer. One thing I wanna do, or I'm gonna have to do is move the propane tank back. Uh, but while I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and install a dual propane tank bracket so that we have two. So hopefully we're gonna have enough space to get two propane tanks in here and move this tongue jack back. In order to take the tongue jack off, you have to support the trailer by uh, putting down your stabilizers. So don't forget to put down your stabilizers. Okay, that's good. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna need to remove the tongue jack. Uh, in order to do that, I need to disconnect the power cable to the tongue jack from the battery and uh, all of the uh, cable ties uh, and then take these three bolts out and, and move it out of the way. We've started the mock-up. Um, we bought a new bracket uh, to hold two propane tanks, and we've moved that back. And uh, this is the, the part that we ordered, the jack back. And what I'm realizing here is that we have a couple issues. Uh, the first issue is on the website, they offer two different size brackets, and we bought the large bracket. Uh, the issue with this bracket is that the the, the height of the trailer frame is taller than the space that we have here uh, inside this bracket. So basically the way this is supposed to work is this section right here is supposed to uh, wrap around your frame and then this front hole right here uh, lines up with the front bolt hole of where your existing jack was. 
So as you can see, uh, the problem that we're going to have is that this bracket is not going to work. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to make some modifications. The other issue that we're having with this bracket is that this tongue jack has lights on the front and uh, the current hole pattern for the three holes doesn't line up with the pattern uh, that they provided. So basically, uh, if you turn it, if you turn it, the holes line up, but the light is pointing the wrong way. Some of you might be okay with that, uh, but then you would lose the feature of lighting up uh, your trailer when you're trying to hook it up at night. So if I spin it back around 180 degrees, we have no holes in the bracket. So basically that means that we're gonna have to drill our own three holes for this to work. Uh, so the solution that I think I'm going to try to make this bracket work is we're going to cut with my grinder this bottom section off so that we can open it up. So our first modification, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, a cut down here, across here, so that we could separate these two plates to open this up. Uh, for that, I'm going to use my grinder with my cutoff wheel. Uh, one thing about this is stainless steel that's been powder coated. So we'll see how the grinder does with that. So we pretty much used up the whole wheel on that. <laughs> that was a tough cut. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna change out this blade to a new one so that I can clean up the cut a little bit. By the way, uh, I've never done this before and I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing and none of this is in their instructions. So, you know, we'll bear see. with us. <laughs> So now that we have the bracket separated, we have a little bit more space here. Uh, and the way this thing works is you have your three original holes from your original location. This, the, the front of this plate lines up with that first bolt. It comes with some, it comes with some shims that go underneath here to make up the gap of the space, which I still might have to add some to. And then this plate will go underneath the trailer. And uh, so we're gonna have to drill, we're gonna have to drill half inch holes through the trailer all the way through to where we can put these long bolts and uh, bolt this piece on. Even though this bracket is stainless steel and it's powder coated, uh, I'm going to put a little black paint on this where we cut it with the grinder. So now we need to drill some uh, holes through the top of the trailer and all the way through the bottom of the trailer so that we can bolt the bottom plate to the top plate and sandwich it together. We're gonna to make sure that this plate is centered up so that we can get these two holes uh, to pass all the way through without hitting uh, the side of the tubing. So I took the plate off and uh, I've got a, it's a little bit larger drill bit that should reach all the way through uh, the bottom uh, to where we can come out.
we're going to paint any of the holes uh, so that we prevent rust. So this kit comes with all of the hardware that you need to do this. Um, it comes with two spacers. They're going to have to go underneath here to make up the difference, which it's probably, it should work out okay, to make out the difference of this gap right here from the original uh, placement. So we're gonna put those in there. Now we're going to attach our slightly modified bottom plate. Now that we have this all mocked up and uh, we verified that we're clear, uh, what I was saying earlier in the video is the holes that are drilled in this plate uh, would make our tongue jack backwards. So in order for me to have my tongue jack forwards and the light to where I could actually use it at night, um, I'm gonna have to mark three locations right here and redrill these holes. So uh, I've currently got them marked and uh, you can see the old hole location and the new hole location. This is stainless steel. It's uh, very difficult to cut and drill. So uh, we'll uh, go ahead and attempt to do that now. I'm going to uh, drill a smaller pilot hole first and then uh, put in a larger bit uh, for the correct size bolt that we're going to use to bolt the jack to the plate. Now we're going to bolt the tongue jack to the plate. The kit comes with three stainless steel uh, nuts, bolts, and lock washer. Spacers right here, I'm going to go ahead and double up on them uh, to make up for the height difference in this plate and this blue. We've run into another impasse uh, since we've relocated these holes, this nut is hitting this section, which is not allowing me to line up this hole with this hole. Right here. What I have to do is uh, grind out a little spot in this original plate to make room for that nut right here, which I've done. But so here's my little notch that I just put in here with the grinder to get this front bolt to clear. So now when we line up that hole, all of our holes line up.
have it all uh, set up and uh, bolted. Uh, I went ahead and hooked up the weight distribution bars because it was really close without the bars because of the sag. So when we hook the bars up, here's where we're at. So we've uh, completed it. Um, as far as a bolt-on uh, easy job, we had to make several modifications to make it work for our trailer and uh, our hitch. Uh, but it did work and I'm pleased. It's a little tighter than I wish it could be, but uh, uh, at least it works and we can open our tailgate now and get to all of our gear while we're hitched up. We paid $143.51 for this uh, jack bag, and we're well aware that the modifications, it's probably not worth getting uh, because of the height difference in our trailer frame. Uh, but we did want to go ahead and show you uh, what we had to go through in order to make this work. It is well worth the time in order to be able to open your uh, tailgate. So if you have any questions about the modifications, please let us know. And as always, we appreciate you watching our videos. Thanks again. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anybody looking to make this modification. Thank you for watching and uh, enjoy your weekend. Bye. Bye. Uh, because of the height difference in our hitch. No. Trailer because of the height difference in our trailer frame because of the height difference in our trailer frame it is well worth the time in order to be able to open your um, tailgate. in order to open your tailgate